So today I'm going to be showing you a big drugstore beauty haul. I went shopping and did some damage like I always do. And long story short, I went to Walgreens and Fred Meyers and picked up a ton of stuff. So I'm just going to show you. So I'm going to start with Walgreens because I only got three things there. So the first thing I spotted was this Argan Oil. Um from Baraka. Now this little bottle is only 5 eighths of a fluid ounce but it was only $2.50 I believe. Yeah $2.49. So I'm really excited that I found this. I kind of like swatched it a little bit on my hand in the store and it just felt super smooth and I was like oh my gosh I have to have it. And then the next two things I got were just a couple L'Oreal True Matches. I got W5 and W6 because I wasn't sure what shade I would be when I self tan and I found that W5 is actually a pretty good match for me right now but who knows I'm going to California so I might be a W6. Next is Freddy's and this isn't going to be in any certain order because I didn't organize it so I'm just it's kind of all thrown in here. The first couple things I got are these Studio 35 travel bottles. They're like a dollar or something and I just got them because again I'm traveling next week and I just needed some for shampoo and conditioner. Okay the next couple things are some makeup brushes. This first one is an Eco Tools flat eyeliner brush. Um, let's take it out. Let's look at it. So it is just like this fat smudger brush, brush or eyeliner brush whatever you please I think it might be a little bit big for an eyeliner brush I mainly got it to smoke stuff out under my lower lash line but it's very dense and I think it's gonna be good the next one is by a brand called Sakara or yeah Sakara I've never used this brand before but I thought that this eyeliner brush looked good um, I'm getting really into gel liners and I have a brush right now but I've just been into trying new ones because whatever can make the application of wing liner easier is right up my alley. So it's just this really small precision brush that I think will be great for creating a wing. Um, today I have like a super thick wing on, but some days I just want a really thim thimple. <laughs> Thin, simple wing and now I have the brush to do so. Next couple things are lashes. I got the Ardell 105s. I've never tried these ones but I normally go for a more simple lash and I just wanted something a little bit more glamorous. So I picked those up and then I tried these Revlon ones. I've never tried Revlon eyelashes. These are in the ones called natural defining and they're just super natural ones. I'll hold them up next to each other so you guys can tell. So these are the Revlon more natural ones and these are the Glamour by Ardell. Okay, the next couple things I see are some nail care items. So I spotted these. This is by LA Colors and it's nail polish remover little pads. It comes with 32 pads and they smell good. This is peach flavored. I mean, it obviously has that remover kind of smell, but it has a hint of peach and I enjoy that. So yeah. And then I got two Sally Hansen nail polishes cause they were having like a little sale. I got mint sorbet, which is not on my nails right now. I got my nails done, but it's just a super pretty mint color. And then I got snappy sorbet. I'm guessing this was like a sorbet collection. But it's just a really pretty orangey corally shade. Okay, so for a boring thing, I got um, a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent, which I use every single day, and I hit pan on the one I've been using, so I picked up another one. The next thing are a couple Wet n Wild products. Um, these are just their single eyeshadows. They're 99 freaking cents, and then they were having a sale. Buy one get one fifty. So I got both of these for like a dollar fifty. <laughs> so the first color I got was cheeky. I'm gonna swatch them for you guys. 
Cheeky is just like a really pretty raspberry color. It does have quite a bit of shimmer in it. Digging that. And then I just saw this matte black shade and I don't have a matte black in like a single one. And it is called Panther. Holy pigmentation. Eh. It seems a little bit chalky. But hopefully I can make it work. So there it is there. Another boring thing. A pencil sharpener from NYC. It's like 99 cents. I just needed one. Um, I got a nail file from Diamond Cosmetics. Nothing special. I got a Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. Now, funny story is, I picked up this eyeliner because I've heard such great things about it, and I accidentally picked up waterproof. I don't know how I mistaked it, but I do not like waterproof eyeliner because it literally never comes off. Like, look how freaking black that is. And it dries to a matte finish because I'm not about that, like, glossy eyeliner look. I absolutely hate that. I got a few essence products. So the first one is a duo eye pencil. Now there's a side that says inner rim and there's a side that says eyebrow lifter. Um, it's in the, in the shade Bloomy Licious, but I didn't really see any other pencils. I think this is the only one, but I will swatch this for you. This is the side that says inner rim. Oh, it's beautiful. It's not a white. But it's like that perfect nude or flesh tone that would look way more natural in your waterline than a white. And then the eyebrow lifter side. It's more of a creamy pencil. And it's there. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use it. This was $2.99, people. Like, what? Okay, the next thing I saw, a Stay With Me Long Lasting Lip Gloss in the color Candy Bar. So it is there. And then I got a little bit excited about this. Um, I love buying foundations and concealers. Those are like my two things that I'm like extremely terrible about buying all the time. So Essence came out with one and I was so excited. I got this thing for $1.49 because it's originally $3 and it was on sale. Now this is their Stay All Day 16 Hour Concealer. There was a pinky toned one and a yellow toned one. They were out of the yellow toned. I normally always get yellow toned stuff. But when I swatched this in the store, I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, it seems like the most creamy concealer and it's super light. So for all my pale princesses out there, like, oh my gosh. It just feels super buttery and super creamy. Hopefully it has good pigmentation and good lasting wear like it claims to do. I got one NYX item. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. I freaking love butter glosses. I'm wearing the creme brulee one on my lips right now and this is again Eclair and it's just more of a pink than a nude. I love the NYX Butter Glosses you guys. Go get your hands on them. I want every color. Okay, next I got one CoverGirl item, and this lipstick was $4.99, and it's the most, like, buttery smooth lipstick ever. And for $4.99, like, how can you beat that? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It would actually go really good with this gloss, this Essence gloss. It's just super pretty. It's so buttery and so creamy. Such good quality. So the last four things I got are from Milani. I love Milani. I think it's one of the best drugstore brands they have out there. And so every time I go into the drugstore, I'm just like all over the Milani section. So I picked up this anti-feathering lip liner in Transparent. I'm going to open it up. So it just feels like a buttery, retractable kind of lip liner. It's supposed to prevent your lipstick from feathering, which is really nice when using like liquid lipsticks or lip lacquers because they tend to feather and bleed down your lips. Speaking of, I got one from Milani. Um, this is the Milani Lip Intense Liquid Color. 
and I got it in the color Red Extreme. So they had like a red, a hot pink, and a purple, I want to say. Um, so I wasn't sure what one to get, but normally when I pick up lip, lip lacquers, I pick up pinks. And so I just decided to go for the red. I don't think it's like a dark red or anything. It looks like kind of like a strawberry red, if you're even picking that up. And the packaging is gorgeous. I love this gold top. This is not a squeezy tube or anything. It's not going to get everywhere. Oh, and it's got just a nice Dofa applicator. So pigmented and so creamy. So I was right. It's a more of a orange toned red, which I have actually been looking for. Another thing I got is a Milani lipstick. Their lipsticks are hands down my favorite drugstore lipstick formulas ever. They smell pretty good. So I got it in Uptown Mauve, which is number 20. And it's just like a really pretty raspberry color. It's not like a complete purple. It might look like a dark purple, but it's more of like a wine raspberry color. In fact, I'm going to swatch my Revlon Kissable Balm Stain in Shameless next to it just to show you guys that it's not really purple because this thing is purple purple. So here's the Revlon Dress Bitten Kissable Balm Stain, and then this is the Milani Lipstick in Uptown Mauve that I just bought. I just wanted to show you guys kind of that it's more of a raspberry color, just so that you didn't go out buying it thinking it was like a deep purple. So the next thing I got is a Milani Powder Blush. Now first of all, look at this packaging. It's like a rose. And it's so freaking pretty. So I got it in the shade Coral Cove. I'm gonna swatch it for you. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm literally gonna wear this so much. Okay, you guys, so that's it for my drugstore haul. If you like this video and you love hauls, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video.